Right. So we're going back to the housing. Park my car. There's a council van over there in the car park, you know. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Huge church, which you can see for the dual carriage we're in the other side. Well, here is quite a historical wee bit of Dundee. Well, it's a big bit of Dundee, actually. Now they started bracking up cocks to stack over there. That's good. Coming down to the high street, Rocky High Street. Funeral directors. And here's the high street. It's three o'clock, like half past two. Pure wee plants. Look at them. Oh, and the them which is pepper. You could eat them. So it's Lockheed High Street. <laughs> a lot of grouchos in Dundee. You see my armor for council. Council building. This is a new build as well, this council place. Look at the mess of it. Sark, response vehicle. That's council, but what do they do? Community safety team. Mess one. I wonder if people can't get parked here. So I couldn't so somebody's left their window open. It's just a wee party. Do you think it'll be alright? I'm not so sure about a year. <laughs> well, it's not rough, it's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're better to just to be on the safe oh, side. The description. I had that, so oh. <laughs> Electric Wendy's. <laughs> You should have just put your ignition lights on, that would have been enough. You don't need to start it like. No, you have to now. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking after your welfare. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you get up and if my car was there when I got back, eh? I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> I'm getting one soon anyway, I'm just hitting my fog first. Because you keep you hanging about, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, an extra puff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a nice area, Lockheed. A lot of nice people here, and a lot of hard-working families were brought up in Lockheed. This is where Jutopolis got its labour force, the Halton and Lockheed. I think it's at one point there was something like 30,000 uh, workers uh, working in the jute mills in Jutopolis, or Dundee as it was known then. <laughs> jute jam and journalism, uh, the berry pickers. And the, the Telegraph used to be 
Telegraph and the Courier used to be really good papers. God knows what happened to them. I think somebody else took over. But this is a nice area, like, this is our new builds that they've built. It must be an in-depth thing. That's the police station over there. I remember handing in uh, shotgun barrels that we found in the Lockheed Miley when I was doing it. We were wondering what to do with them. We thought, oh, better hand them into the police. They'll come what to do with them. We did. It was in 1993. I've revamped this area really well. I think I would just go down to the, this is the dual carriage over here. Oh, electric vehicle. Walk you a lot at the back here as well. An amazing place, quite an industrial place. Oh, it's Lidl there. Oh, there's the police station over there behind all the trees. And that's why we hand it behind us. And there's mere scarns or multis. So, nice wee bitties. Let's go in and see if we could see Lynn Wadland. Could do with a clean up round here. Ah. Certainly can. It's a mess. I mean, how hard would it be to tie the weeds out and put some shrubs in? Shrubs with berries help the wildlife. We'll go around here because look at all the mess. I'll uh, need to get the cleansing up. Hi. Right. As you can see. Hi, boys. Let's go in and see. Oh my god. Penis, penis. That's the guy who got a Spanish holiday for the smoke detectors, the contract. Be open and honest. <laughs> Deal with your inquiry promptly. <laughs> these are these are all les, <laughs> by the way. But I've never I've never been to this thing before, so we'll wait and see. We'll give them a chance. Might be interested in that people. How to complain. Thank you. 
just on the inside. It's just a bit of the outside, which is a mess. We're just waiting. I want to get a woman's information on here. Going upstairs. What's my light in, I suppose? It'd be dark in this corner without looking for that. Coming in. Two people waiting. Silence. Look at this. This is a store. It's an interview room. See they're seeing and hearing. <laughs> you know, I fostered. I want to be fostered a bit. It's a long wait, I think, but we've got to wait. Day or night, help is at hand. Natural disaster, fire or flood, homeless, threatened with homelessness, domestic abuse, relationship breakdown. If you need urgent assistance or of normal working hours, including weekends and public holidays, call our 24 homeless advice line 0800 5843 or from a mobile one three eight two forty two zero zero one. Yes. East housing office. I'll be going there next. Since it's, that's no longer there, that got demolished. St. Vincent's Primary School. Mid Mill Road. Uh, Well, so, so, so the engineer is going up to your house, is that what you're saying? 
Dolly Clark the last coming. Now nobody is coming. So party is closed. Okay, let's plan a good event with the free talk. Free no second. Play this way if you want instantaneously. That's what I saw it here. And I want to get people's information on playing. Yeah. Oh, a nice day outside. Somebody. Who? No, I don't know. Can I Yeah. Can I ask you to leave now then, please? I'm being seen to. Well, if you've been seen to, you can leave the premises. I'm being seen to. You are to. being seen to. Will you want yeah. to take a seat in the meantime, please? No, I'm quite okay. happy standing here. What's your name? What an idiot. What an idiot. <laughs> oh dear. You get them. These are my premises.
everything as a GDPR uh, breach as well. <laughs> I wonder where that would get to it. Hmm, the boy is all getting this information. Another guy. A rude guy. Put it on hold at the moment, it's not happening. Well, no, I need, I need to clarify a lot of things first, because uh, I had a, a Tom Sandyman up before, uh, the guy that was in... Uh, Six months ago, he was in court for assaulting somebody for a, a talk. And he, he breached GDPR by relaying my information on a social media platform. This is how now I gear up with a, a GoPro and that. So I need to talk to Lynn Wadland and get assurances. Uh, well, I need to talk to somebody about it. Uh, but no, that's no, that's no viable. No one to get assurances. Yeah. I done a call number, so I'll just go to the address, and that was the address. See, I, I'll no use a phone. Because right. it gets breached all the time. It's like I say, I protect myself fully. Um, I don't know if anyone from the office here be assured that you're reading what, what sort of terms would that person would come up for. Yeah, I, I, I need to be uh, assured that I know the person. They give me their name uh, and make sure that I will be following them when they're in my flat. And I will be talking, uh, uh, I want to be talking to them, like, I'll say, hi, come in, there you go, uh, allow them to do that. But other than that, I'm like, I need assurances. Yeah. Um, I'll go back to say for someone from Head Mastermind, they had their loved ones not there, but um, just for example. Right, thank you very much. It's a long drive, it's chilled up a good half to, it's now 20 to 4. It's quite a long time. Is that, that Richard King? Yeah. Richard King. No, I can, I can give you the contact number. Just check out what it is. King? Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Is that the guy? Yeah. Who am I?
Dios es un misterio infinito. Luego es un misterio infinito. Hoy, el de Big Ben Abbas. No, es que está por... Hay un misterio infinito. Hoy hay más alfil. Es un misterio infinito. Es un misterio infinito. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your uh, the boy that came up uh, the last time, uh, Tom Sandyman. Uh, well, he was uh, uh, he abused me on uh, social media. And uh, I reported that uh, twice. That was a clear breach of GDPR. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, so I'm not willing to enter into anything unless I know who's coming, when they're coming, exactly when they're coming, and that they're warned that they have no right to talk about anything about inside my door. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I understand that, but you must understand that I'm just protecting myself and like because of what happened. Uh, Yeah, I reported it to uh, Lynn Wadland as well, as well as reporting it to uh, Dundee House. Uh, I've reported it to a few people, but no, nobody took notice. Uh, that'll still be ongoing, right? So that's how I'm just making sure this time nothing else happens. No, because they're not talking the complaints. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. No, no, I go in in person. Always attend in person. That way you can see the person. Lynn Wadland. No, she said she was going to pop in. Uh, because she passes my house every night, but she never has, and that was over a year, maybe a year ago, maybe more. Oh, Chris King, I was saying Richard King, no, Chris King. Yeah, if Chris King also gave us a phone call, which he didn't have any right to, because I never gave my phone number out, so I, d I still don't know how he got my phone number. And that'll be another thing I'll be asking, because that's a clear breach of GDPR again. He's left as well. <laughs> uh, I think everybody's jumping ship. <laughs> right. Uh, Well, if you send us a letter and tell us the details, like, then fine. Right. And if she wants me, if you want me to come in for an appointment, that's no problem. Yeah. Face to face.
through it. As long as he has his gas safety register card, that'll be enough then. Right, okay. No, thank you very much. Right, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you very much. Right, so that's that concluded. Don't worry, I didn't get you on camera. I had it pointing that way. Right, thank you. Bye. There we go. So we'll just wait and see now, see what happens. Meanwhile, back in the outside world, I wonder what that other idiot was. Please leave the premises. <laughs> leave. No, he didn't say please, did he? He just tell us to leave the premises. What an absolute ass man. <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> right, so we'll conclude there. I'll hit to do a lot of cutting, like, but never mind. <laughs>